Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button, also subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. Shout out to the Patreon patrons, the super chats, and the donations. We are working. Now, Bob Arum did an interview with the Las Vegas Review Journal. Had some interesting things to say. I want to read some quotes and give my thoughts, the ego thoughts. Bob Arum said, the UFC showed us that you need free television to advertise your product to people to become familiar with. Their deal with Fox helped make UFC the product it became while we in boxing were limiting ourselves to premium networks, right? I always believed that once we could get our best product on a network like ESPN, with the way ESPN promotes, it shows with college football, professional football, that we would do big ratings. Nothing against HBO and Showtime, but they are premium channels that mostly do entertainment and a little bit of sports and boxing. They are not sports stations and no one covers sports better than ESPN. Right? So he said some other things, but that's just the... The points that I really want to talk about in this video for starters I hate to be the bearer of bad news but I give it to you guys real uncut keep it a buck it is so funny but it's expected that Aram is saying this like this is the UFC strategy because the UFC did a deal with Fox years ago right that has been a thing Fox FS1 and all that for UFC has been part of the UFC brand where they they're not so big you know what I mean like the Ronda Rousey's and Conor McGregor's are fighting on Fox the lesser stars but good cards you know what I mean and like they might throw Chris Cyborg or somebody on there and the funny thing is <laughs> he's referencing Dana White's UFC and Dana White hates Bob Arum but it's just so funny to me because Dana White's publicly outed Bob Arum and says he's horrible, but he's giving credit to the UFC instead of Al Heyman and Premier Boxing Champs. And if you really do the math and do the research, like I said, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Al Heyman, as far as boxing, was the first one to revive boxing back on the premium networks, right? There wasn't top rank on True TV until Al Heyman brought his fights and his fighters to the masses fox cbs and he had to deal with espn when it first started right and then bounce tv and some other networks but al Heyman was the one that really initiated this movement and then you seen golden boy later work out a multi multi-fight deal with espn and top rank so it's just it's mighty ironic that instead of giving al Heyman the credit you give it to the ufc and the reason I say that is UFC, they, what he's saying is true. They used Fox, but what I'm saying is, hold on, because you know how I do it. Let's find out when the UFC inked the deal with Fox. Okay, so I'm looking, I just looked it up for you guys. UFC reaches a seven year broadcast deal with Fox Networks, August 18th, 2011, right? And I'll try to put a screen cap on this so you guys see. So that's my whole thing. You weren't interested. Top Rank wasn't interested in bringing Terrence Crawford, Vasil Lomachenko, Pacquiao Horn to ESPN before. So I, I really feel like he's just giving the UFC credit for it when in boxing, Al Heyman was the one that did it with Premier Boxing Champs. The, the guy that's the cancer of boxing and things like that. And again, the proof in the pudding is this. If the UFC inked a seven-year broadcast deal with Fox in August of 2011, why did it take for Al Heyman to kind of use the, the blueprint of the UFC? And then all of a sudden, Top Rank and Golden Boy started following suit. So if anything, you could say UFC was the originator and in boxing, Al Heyman kind of, he brought that same element to the boxing world. You know what I mean? And that's just what it is. Some people are going to get mad, but I already told you on January, tell the truth, tell the truth. And like I said, the proof is in the pudding because 
if if you if you copied the UFC model or or cloned it or, or did your own version of it, that's been around since 2011. So back in 2011, Top Rank was still giving us pay-per-view HBOs, right? Go do the history. HBO pay-per-view everything for Pacquiao at least. And then the other fights were on like regular HBO. So why did it take you, I don't know, five years to start doing with the UFC if that's who you, if that's who you um, got your wisdom from? You know what I mean? It's just crazy what they do to certain people. Like Al Heyman, they, nobody tries to ever give him any credit. But to me, it's very apparent who brought boxing back to primetime TV. And nowhere in this article does Bob Aram mention that. But I will say this on the flip side, because I give it to you fair. Whatever the reason is, I mean, we can sift and debate through it. I know what the case is. Some of you guys know what the case is. Other of you are going to make excuses. No, he did copy the UFC, man. Yeah, it just took him five years to, to do something the UFC had been doing. And it wasn't until right after Al Heyman brought all these fights to primetime TV, Oscar De La Hoya came out with De La Hoya TV and Top Rank was on True TV and stuff like that. Come on, man. But the good side is this. As a boxing fan, it's good to see stars like Terrence Crawford or fighters like Vasil Lomachenko on primetime, no matter how it happened. But I just had to outline that in this particular video because I strongly believe that the UFC had been in place. That's something that everybody knew about, the Fox deals. But it wasn't until Al Heyman and Premier Boxing Champs came out with their, I think it was in the January, they announced that they had like Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia, Broner, John Molina, all these guys. And they were shooting commercials and stuff. And they're like, oh, the first big car, Broner, Molina, and Robert Guerrero and Keith Thurman. And it wasn't until after that point that, to me, Top Rank and Golden Boy started thinking outside of the box for boxing and making their fights available on different outlets other than HBO. But whatever. At the end of the day, Bob Merriman is a businessman. Um, naturally, he's probably not going to give credit to a competitor. And like I said, at the end of the day, it's good that we're getting more and more fights on free TV. That I do like. Let me know your thoughts. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you share the video, like the videos always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing. Yeah.